Government-funded universities across the Western world are developing massive warehouses full of bioweapons that they say is for biodefense under the BioShield program. Airborne Ebola, smallpox, bubonic plague, bird flu, and the H1N1 superbug are being weaponized and kept in moderately secured facilities like at the Galveston National Laboratory on the campus of the University of Texas. Now this may be one of the biggest threats we now face as the risk of a deadly virus escaping one of these laboratories and starting a global pandemic, well it is a clear and present danger. Weaponized airborne Ebola, super weaponized viruses and bacteria that kill over 90%, nine out of 10 people on your street dead. The National Research Council, which is an arm of the National Academy of Sciences, released a report concerning potential hazardous risk associated with the new multi-million dollar infectious disease research lab currently under construction in Kansas. It's located only 120 miles west of Kansas City. It's called the National Bio and Agro Defense Facility. And even though it's a level four bio lab, which is the highest secured rating issued by the CDC, the expert panel found that there is nearly a 70% chance that a disease will escape the laboratory during its planned 50-year operational lifespan. And it went on to say that the U.S. Department of Homeland Security has not adequately gauged the potential risk of a dangerous airborne pathogen escaping the compound. There are bio, what they call bioweapons that are in unsecured, well, moderately secured environments like in Galveston, Texas, and the CDC even went to one of these facilities in um, Kansas, and they're not as nearly as safe as they would hope. And they even said, the CDC even said the one in Kansas has a 70% chance of some dangerous virus getting released. I mean, what, so. what, what are the bylaws in keeping them safe? I don't think there's anything even designated to making sure that they're safe. It's such an, it's, it's that gray area of the world that nobody really thinks about, but, but is. Yes. Like, so you think it's a clear and present danger that we should try to prepare for or something I like think, that? I think everybody should should always be prepared for anything. You know, it's like hope for the best, prepare for the worst. That's right. Can you imagine the awakening that's going to happen if they release those bioweapons? After we've warned people so much, God Almighty, I hope the next phases of what we've broken down don't happen. God Almighty, I hope they don't. But I know one thing, I'm sure selfish. I've sure gotten my family ready. Do you think it's wise for people that collect food and they have stockpiles of food and stuff like that just in case of emergency and have a place to go just in case something like this were to happen? I don't have anything stockpiled. I'm all about having weapons. I'm all about um, getting as much ammunition as you can get, getting it because everybody's going to get crazy. They're going to they're gonna want to get their hands on whatever sources are available, food, water, natural resources, anything to keep the, the normalcy of life continuing. That's why I'm out here on the streets. I want to like learn like some street smarts and like if, if it goes down, then I want to be able to like find your way around. It yeah. And no, let me tell you something. Once that something like that goes down, the people in the high-rise apartments and stuff, they're not going to know what to do. It's, no, the, it's the people with street they smarts. Able, are gonna they be won't the be able to survive. survive. Just making sure that you have the resources that you need because when the world gets chaotic, everybody loses their minds. Let me put this in layman terms. A level four bioweapons lab should be three floors under the ground, barbed wire fences, minefields, and machine guns, and a system that if the super germs get out, they pull a lever, alarms go off, and the whole place goes up in flames. But instead, the global elite are storing it in level two facilities like the University of Texas at Galveston behind a glass door with a swipe card right there in Petri dishes. And they're doing this so that when they release it to massively reduce population, they can claim it was an accident.